Hey, folks, it's, uh, I don't know, Thursday? Thursday sounds good. It's uh, Thursday! It's Thursday night. Uh, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc. live with the cacophony soap opera. Soap opera, not campaign, Carol. Soap <laughs> opera. Uh, thanks for joining us. You're in for a really good night. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. First time viewers, welcome aboard. Uh, this is going to be our Halloween episode because Saturday, even though it will be broadcasting on Halloween, it is the campaign, and I'm pretty sure uh, Carol will come all the way from back with the khakis and kill me if uh, I bounce the campaign one week. So uh, we will be broadcasting on Saturday, but it's not going to be anything special other than everybody that Carol knows and loves is fucking dead. Everybody dies. Everybody. Uh, I know she's there watching might, this. There might be a Magoobis surprise appearance <laughs> by somebody, so uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy cool stuff, like a notebook, like a shirt, like a bath mat, like a phone case. halloween shirt. Yeah, links down there. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit with us on Discord, uh, it is down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us on a one-shot a week from Saturday, our very own Caitlin will be running it. Hit us up, mhobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail. Uh, we will get you a seat on that. Uh, before we explain to you what kind of lovely shit scenario we have planned for these guys <laughs> uh check out pirate dog dice on twitter and don't forget oddfishgames.com if your game stinks get some adventure sense in it uh they have their how to rpg with their cat session a week from sunday it is free it is 3 p.m all you got to do is sign up check our twitter page for the sign up folks uh introducing you know david i always pick you right in the middle i'm gonna start with you tonight Alrighty. Hi, I'm David. I'll be playing Zadar tonight, the arcane trickster rogue. Uh, I am a regular here on Cacophony. I'm uh, irregular. Irregular. You guys yeah. are irregulars. I'm a little irregular. Uh, <laughs> and on our Tuesday night show between between the rolls. So anyway. Hey. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, next Saturday's DMs. Up next, Caitlin, who is touring the country. She's on tour with Murder Hobo Inc. Just kidding. <laughs> She's uh, touring the country. Just I feel like it. Uh-oh, the hotel has <laughs> shitty internet. Uh, hotel's got internet problems. Caitlin, who are you? Who are you playing? Is it? Am I frozen? No, no. You're good yeah. now. You're good. Okay, it says your internet connection is unstable and it's Airbnb. So I blame the other people. Damn. All the porn you've got uh, but, up in um, your other tabs. Oh. <laughs> I don't, I have seven tabs. Thank you very much. <laughs> of porn. All porn. It's all, all porn. porn. All video porn, all running at the same time. Yep. <laughs> Stop it. All right. I'm Caitlin. I'm playing Daphne tonight. Of course, it's Heathling, and it's Halloween, so things are a little poopy this time. And I am a paladin. And a week from Saturday, you'll be doing a game of Blue Rose. It's a romantic <laughs> role-playing game. Ooh, you can play an animal. Sounds like you're gonna need somebody with. Oh Sid Lord. <laughs> oh, no, I did. There you go, Caitlin. There you go. Uh, last but certainly not least, uh, normally behind the camera tonight, in front of and behind the camera, Carrie. Uh, AKA uh, Trump supporter, what's his no, face? No, 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 no. <laughs> Neil just wanted to be a cowboy tonight. It was Halloween, so. Trump supporter. Yeah, right. Uh, so I play Camille, a wizard necromancer halfling. Just gonna call you the nuge. Do all not night call me the nuge. Do not. If you ever want to have <laughs> sex again, do not do it. <laughs> I will not be calling her the nuge anymore. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> folks, if you've seen this show before, you know that Thursday nights these three are are irregulars or regulars, as the case may be, and they have brought themselves up from their very own bootstraps to become fifth level PCs. All by doing urban shit. They have not left the city per se ever, ever. Uh, and tonight, 
no difference. We have a goal uh, for you. tonight. That's right. You guys, uh, since this is our Halloween adventure, we're just going to throw a lot of tropes at them. Uh, this evening, you guys are, or I'm sorry, it is the afternoon, and you are in front of Fauntleroy, the head of the Adventurers Guild. And he, of course, is pondering a missive, if you read the intro. And he informs you guys uh, that tonight is a very special night, and you have been requested by the city council, no less, uh, to help the guardsmen be the night watch. Uh, as we all know, a lot of diplomats are in town. A lot of the normal guards have been pulled for their details, uh, considering their entourages are rather uh, large and angry people. <laughs> uh, so you guys have been tasked uh, with guarding the city tonight. Good news. Uh, the city should be barren because... Bad news, a rare celestial event of a twin moon eclipse is going to hit the city. It is normally called the Night of the Long Passing. Uh, you know from growing up that a lot of, shall we say, myths and legends are born of this night where spooks and ghouls mm. and goblins all wander the streets. For the most part, the city is going to shut down right before dusk. Doors will be locked. Windows will be barred. People will be hiding. That should make your night go quickly. Uh, as each of you has grown up in this region, you know that magic will have possibly un unintended effects. Uh, I'm not saying wild magic, but maybe wild magic. Uh, so if you cast spells... There's a chance yeah. it's not going to be what you think. <laughs> It might not be at all what you think. <laughs> uh, so be judicious. Uh, Fauntleroy uh, finishes his recitation, and you each look over, and you notice Hortense, the second in command, smiling broadly as Drow probably enjoys yeah, I was about this to night. say. Hey, she, I, I she... have a date lined up. The Barbarian? No. Oh. Mr. Longpole? <laughs> no, the French guy from the boat. Oh, oh, Francois. Francois. Uh, the good news is uh, you and your other members of the guild house will be filtering around uh, the city. Hortense has graciously agreed to also go out on her own uh, since she will be unaffected by the wild magic. So there will be about nine of you roaming the city. So it should, should be okay. Each one of you is given a whistle in the event that you need something. Blow on oh. it. Uh, do not expect the normal guards because they will be manning the walls looking out for danger. Uh, the only illumination will be the moons until they are eclipsed. And the rotating lighthouse. Uh, other than that, no street lights will be lit. So be prepared, boys and girls. Fauntleroy tells you, now go, get some rest, uh, meet back here at dusk, and I will have some potions of healing for you. Oh, all right. Awesome. You guys want to go to sleep or fuck around and be really tired later? We'll probably fuck around and be tired later. <laughs> you guys make the choice. I have to feed the dog. Oh. <coughs> we gotta feed the guild dog. That's right, bitch. <laughs> well, what do you think? You guys want to sleep? Be well rested for tonight's journey? Or wander off and uh, scroll around? I have to sleep? Like a nice nap? Take a nap is fine. I don't care. It's completely up to you guys. I just want to know if I need to, uh, I don't know, add exhaustion into your repertoire. <laughs> oh, no. That would suck. Um, yeah, a nap would be good. <laughs> okay, you guys have opted to choose your nap. Uh, everybody, D20, see how you do. I will roll for Camille. She's got a 19, so she's fine. 15. Fine. Twelve. Oh, you're fine.
Spotify. So all three of you go ahead and get your nap. <clears throat> Dusk is approaching. You guys grab a bite to eat. I assume you'll swing by the Flying J. Uh -huh. I'm being told by Camille, duh. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Daphne, go ahead and D12 against me. If I win, Flying J is already closed. If you win, you guys can get coffee. Background? Oh, no. And Three. Three. Oh, the Flying J is already closed as the owner <laughs> right as, the as the owner is well aware of what this portents. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you head back to the Guild House where your other associates are already ready. Each one of you has been given a potion of extra healing courtesy of the watch uh nice. they thank you for your service uh and i assume that there will be compensation as well um font Leroy explains that uh you will each be working in teams except for hortense uh she will be working solo she is several levels higher Bitch, of better watch her back <laughs> nice uh and uh you guys will be allowed to tour the city as you see fit. Uh, everybody give me perception checks. No, oh, that's not good. Uh, 16. 19. Uh, 7. Uh, Camille did not notice it because she was pouting over the loss of okay. uh, Zadar and Daphne, you notice there's a fog rolling in <laughs> what, I, what direction is the fog rolling in is it rolling in off the bay or is it coming in off, off the bay and in through the uh old town to the oh, west God. Oh. uh you notice that the two orbs the moons of philbar are high in the sky already uh but no signs of an eclipse uh you go in uh, you get your marching orders, such as they are, uh, and you are each given the potion of extra healing. Uh, Fauleroy gives a big sigh. Uh, good luck, guys. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, this is punishment for the doc, isn't it? <laughs> no, that is yet to come. Oh, come uh, on. That wasn't our fault. It was Daphne's fault. We all realized that. We've all taken a vote. It's <laughs> Daphne's fault. It's not her fault. <laughs> Fumble hands, Daphne. <laughs> Banana <laughs> hands. Uh, folks, in our previous episode, uh, Daphne actually saved one of the diplomats, but then dropped her magical house into the water. It expanded and broke a dock. Uh, Peter Moran. Not her Pete fault. Moran is still pissed off about that. That's only been like two days ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, your cohorts uh, all pick random areas of the city, and they're going to go ahead and take off on their own. Everybody wishes each other good luck, uh, and you guys <clears throat> may now pick which district of the city you would like to start out at. It is currently dusk. Hmm. Mm. Uh, let's see. Well... I am looking, I don't know, I'm liking number three. Yeah, that sounds good. The government section. Uh, as you guys leave the Adventurers Guild, you cut through the alley, I assume, since that's the fastest way. Mm -hmm. You notice a scant amount of people hustling uh, with their errands, trying to get done. Remarkably, they are all in a hurry. <coughs> <laughs> shops are closed. The signs are in the windows. Uh, you can see some wood has been placed over windows on the outside. It's almost like it's a hurricane or the purge, <laughs> uh, one might say. <clears throat> As you go into the uh, government area, uh, do you want to remain east, high, or west, low? I'm trying to remember what's on the east end, what's on the west end. Um, uh, there are this area is where you had um the princess mm -hmm. 
The government building will be completely closed. There will be guards out front of it, making sure that nobody tries to break in. Government building is off limits. Up here are a variety of shops. This is where you would have helped Skippy Lee try and recover his money, even though Dumbass was responsible for the lost funny money. Uh huh. So, did we ever get removed curse and get our money back? Oh, you're going to mention that now? Oh, okay. Yes, you did get removed curse. We didn't we didn't get a chance. We were parlayed right away. <laughs> that, that is true. Uh so there you go. You got your money back. All right. Uh I say let's go up to the government building and shoot the shit with the guards. Okay. Swabby Steve <laughs> is in charge. <laughs> is he and bored? is just super plus that you three are here. Oh good. The lady that hits me in the balls. What do you want? I, I figured you'd be happy you're not mopping anything right now. I'll be mopping up blood later if you guys have your way. What? I don't hurt anybody. Well, man. Tell that to my right testicle. <laughs> Did it bleed? No, it hangs lower now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Point Folks taken. who's never seen this, Camille likes to whack people in the balls with her staff. Only if they have it coming. Uh-huh. Uh, as the sun begins to set over the bay rather quickly, for anybody who's been on the coast knows, uh, it's getting dark, but the twin orbs are in orbit just above Cacophony, looking large. Swabby Steve uh, hears some grumbles from everybody and barks out some orders. He's recently been promoted to private first class so pfc swabby steve is in charge of the government building what could possibly go wrong with that right <laughs> well at least he could hand the broom off to somebody <laughs> mm, wow that's true he must be really low on the totem pole mm -hmm. uh, so do we hear or see anything going on in the area couple of slamming doors hmm so maybe we go around and make sure everybody's doors are locked sure break in that's that's, no, that's yeah all that's that's really and i'm just like you know you get shot for doing that shit oh, and jiggle the handles <laughs> hey camille says uh jiggle doors that are what do you say uh maybe not jiggle the doors well on the shops maybe or something yes. like that but definitely not the residences <laughs> And what? Daphne, what say you? What am I doing? That's what the question is. <laughs> uh, they they want to go around, check businesses, make sure they're all secured. Yeah, like shake the doors, push on the windows gently. You fuckers are all going to get killed for burglary. Hey, da Daphne pushes her nose <laughs> up against said, the window. I check doors all the time, and people were always very happy with me. Uh, that's true. Oh God! Uh, so, do you want to stay west high or east low? I'm sorry, reverse that. West low, east high. Uh, I say high. Do you now, let me ask you this: region? Is there a bar that stays open no matter what? <laughs> Is this you may you you may check that <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you um, may check that. Yeah, I'm trying to think what's what's there. The red Toots, spot. Toots Pub is in that area yeah, yeah let's look. yeah we'll 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 do a store check and check toots pub there sure. you go. uh as you head to toots pub you find that it is open uh, oh all right and there are quite a few patrons in there enjoying the libations nice now this is the way that we sell it that we should observe the long passing <laughs> one of the guys from the bar looks over and goes johnny law <laughs> <laughs> the fuzz the cops the heat no we're not the cops we're we're heroes yeah just hey everything's cool just as long as you're not walking on the street with an open container you're fine <laughs> you guys are all gonna get your shit pushed in later <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm just okay. kidding, guys. Just kidding. Booze it up. Rams on to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they all go back to their drinking. Uh, the mood is kind of sullen in here, uh, but 
uh, Toots is still making money, so yeah. that's a plus. Yeah. You guys want to talk to anybody or just checking out the area in case you need to take just a leak later? Checking out, yeah, seeing if they got a trough. I so, yeah. Talk to Toots and see that's how right. he's doing. Yeah, he's doing well. A lot of mm -hmm. strangers in town. Uh, points out that uh, a lot of a lot of weird talk. A lot of weird talk, you say? Yeah, somebody said some mage lost his wand, and uh, there's some uh, what do you call them? They're uh, artifact dealers uh, set to buy uh, the old uh, twins place down in oh. the wealthy district. It's oh. not that. It's not awesome. that that explorers group or whatever it was that unwillingly unleashed a shadow demon <laughs> no this is a he says this is an artifact dealer he doesn't know who oh, it okay. is but uh, it's, it's just rumor right now can I get you a beverage uh, I got some coffee I say, do you coffee? have some Irish coffee he's 12 uh, 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 eight Hey, I'm I'm up for it. I'll, I'll roll. I can have a leprechaun pissing uh, one if you want. How about just some whiskey? Whiskey it is. Daphne, do you want any whiskey? There's no bourbon. D12. Seven. <laughs> Seven? So that means no or yes? <laughs> oh, I got a nine. Yes, they do have All right. bourbon. It's bugbear bourbon. That's right. Daphne has her drinks. Zadar and Camille have theirs. Uh, there is no open container law in Cacophony, so you can meander about as you wish, or you can just hang out with some of the travelers and find out cool shit about other places. Because, hmm. you know, Carol's character can just fucking patrol the city and die tonight. That's fine. Is she animated? Nice. <laughs> or, her ship's in Oh, port. her ship's in port. Oh, that character. Yeah. That Carol, not the stone mm. Carol. Not the stone hat rack. Carol got stoned. Okay. <laughs> uh, Your choice. You can hang out here or wander uh, around. Uh, I guess we should wander around a little bit but we'll take our time yeah we'll, we'll finish our drinks kind of kind of shoot it with uh, the others <laughs> the six o'clock hour passes uneventfully to your ears as you walk out of toots uh you notice it has gotten fucking dark uh the lamp lighters who ordinarily would light pots of oil mm -hmm. uh during the evening get a break tonight uh this place is pitch Seriously? black not for yep. me <laughs> not, not for you and the half the halfling has dark vision yeah. right? depending what yep. what kind of halfling she is but yeah yeah uh, and zadar does the changeling I light a torch for you. There are a few torches uh, lit. However, that fog is getting really thick and there is a chill in the air. Off in the distance, a wolf's howl is heard. Oh. <laughs> the song of my people. That's right. The twin moons are coming closer and closer. You know that during the total eclipse, they will look like eyeballs. Children of the night. Uh. Exactly. <laughs> so it's the seven o'clock hour uh, here at WKBF, uh, spinning the hits from nice. Dust Till Dawn. Going uh, away uh, to the. Where minute. would you guys like to go next? Well, I want to know what form Zadar is today. Oh, that's a good point. Mm, that is a good point. I think I, I'm still rocking the Tom Selleck look right now. Nice. Okay. Okay. The city is your oyster. Pick a pearl. Uh, so what's one? Uh, one is the graveyard. Oh. Two pubs Ooh. right here. Okay. Ooh. We should go to the graveyard. So why don't we uh, kind of go around section two uh, headed to the graveyard? Uh, uh, sure. Run along hillside and go out to the graveyard? Yeah, uh, that sounds reasonable. Sure, that's... That. Nothing could possibly Nothing. go wrong. <laughs> and while we're at it, we can hide behind a wall of chainsaws. There we, we go. Picnic blanket. We can have a picnic in the graveyard yes. with black roses and shit. Uh, everybody, roll perception. 
perception? Yep. Uh, 13. Uh, blah, blah, blah. 24. What was yours, Daphne? 14. Uh, Daphne, Camille, and Zadar, you guys hear what sounds like flaming arrows uh, the closer you get to the walls. Do we see anything? Uh, give me do another perception check. Do we see an orange glow or anything? Oh, wrong one. Ugh, five. Are we all rolling perception or? Yep. Oh, okay. Perception. Sorry about that. Nat 20, so 28. Nice. 15. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, you sporadically see flaming arrows uh, leaving the top of the wall headed north towards the graveyard. As you guys reach the main gate, you know that the Doors are shut. The portcullis is down. Camille, you now see the flaming arrows, and you see a small cadre of guards oh. shooting at something in the cemetery. It's a vampire. There we go. <laughs> so, so is there like a rampart or something that we go up that they're standing on or something by the portcullis? There, 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 there are stairs if you want to go up there. Yeah, let's go check it out. Uh, you guys get to the top. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the hell are you guys? Uh, where to watch tonight. <laughs> oh, heroes. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, you can see over into the graveyard on the north side of the wall uh, sporadic flaming arrows that are starting to dim. Uh, the watch commander for this area says uh, there's something moving around down there. Did you guys want to... Go check it out. Go check. So you're yeah. just shooting off arrows just in case? They're all humans, so they will not have good vision. Well, I know, but I mean, what if it's dry out? Are we going to set shit on fire? Yes. It's a cemetery. Who cares? Well, that's just rude. But they don't. They don't... Through Virginia, people just set couches on fire. Yeah. They don't, they don't <laughs> have landscapers here yet. This is a shithole cemetery. But I mean, that's why they're setting off the arrow. They, they don't they have perpetual care. <laughs> because they uh, think right. stuff's moving around. So yeah. I, say we, I say we go check it out. Oh, fine. You like fine. <laughs> you guys go back down the stairs. Uh, they yell down to you, are you ready? They lift the portcullis. Oh, 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 I didn't say do that. <laughs> Can we look first? No, there's a portcullis and then a solid door. Okay, fine. <laughs> they raise the portcullis about yay much. Because <laughs> you guys are going to have to low crawl through it. And when once you start that, they will open the doors. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, you guys go outside. Zadar, do you have a torch yet, or are you just going to wander around blind? Yeah, I'll reach in my pack and pull out a torch. Okay. You guys are outside the city walls. Uh, mm -hmm. Well done on securing the city. That was a nice touch. Uh, as you go <laughs> out, you notice that there are headstones to the left and to the right, as uh, Zadar and Camille are well aware of. Actually, those weren't your characters, were they? Zadar, okay. yeah. Zadar was? Was Camille mm -hmm. in the original, or was it somebody else? Uh, no, that was, was my, uh, corona. my Corona. Okay. Uh, so you guys, I will assume that you guys have been outside before. A lot of small headstones are on the right. Uh, mm -hmm. And a few mausoleums, including John Cena family mausoleum, is on the left. Uh, over to the left is where most of the arrows have fallen. Did mm. you want to go into that region and inspect? Uh, can I cast Mage Armor on myself first? Sure, sure go ahead. Wong, 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 wong. <laughs> uh, venturing outside reveals the old cemetery uh, for those still wishing to be interred into the ground uh, other ceremonies can be uh, added to the cliffside for those who do not wish to go underground uh, some light is still escaping the twin moons above uh, but Zadar's light will help you dramatically uh, everybody d12 Seven. Twelve, sucker. <laughs> you, you always think a high number is good. Uh-oh. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. 
Uh, Camille, something is moving to your left. Daphne, something is moving to your right. Zadar, the moons are pretty tonight. <laughs> uh, can I hear or see anything that it is? Funk! An arrow hits ah. the ground nearby you. <laughs> so I turn Wait, around and yell at, stop shooting the arrows, We asshole. wave the torch. Over, over there! Over there! <laughs> uh, Daphne, an arrow lands next to you. And you know what? Let's, let's have a little fun. Camille, your arrow. Eight misses you. Uh, Daphne. Uh, nine. It will miss you as well. Uh, as you two both turn around to give the guards grief, the guards are pointing in different directions. Zadar, you notice this, and now you're puzzled as to whether or not you're surrounded or what is going on. That says roll initiative. <laughs> okay, I was about to say, uh-oh. It's either two different uh -oh, things or it's a Tarrasque. <laughs> uh, initiative. Oh, man. Uh, Four. Nineteen. I'm going to pick new dice now. Daphne. What am I sorry? Initiative. Oh, we actually are. Oh my god, I'm losing my voice. Thirteen. Uh, Zadar. Odd left, even right. Uh, you see a figure coming from the right towards Daphne. It is a large figure. It is a dark figure. What would you like to do? Uh, I pulled the scimitar. And uh, with the torch, I am looking towards uh towards Daphne. Give me a <laughs> give me a D twenty. <laughs> you threatening me? Uh D twenty. Thirteen. Uh yeah, it's a large cat, big black cat. But when I say cat, I mean panther Ooh. cat. What, what is big it? Big black it's panther. Like like and throat, but the cat one. <laughs> well, lycanthropes are like werewolves. Yeah, 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 but there's a cat version oh. of that word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're cat. As far as you and Zadar know, it's a panther. <laughs> it's a panther. <laughs> so, Zadar, what do you want to do? Uh, uh, ugh. instinct would say run, but um, huh? I'm gonna Ooh. stand my ground. Yeah, <laughs> Uh, Daphne, you are up with your 13. Can I... <gasps> what kind of check would it even be to see what type of creature it is? Can I do that? Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me perception. It would be perception? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's very perceptive. Oh, an 11. It's definitely a cat. It's a big black cat. <sighs> what would Halloween be without a black cat? Black cats are the best cats. What you want to do? I'm looking to see if there's a white-haired drow around. <laughs> Boy, you guys are so suspicious of Hortense. So suspicious. Me so? I didn't say it was Hortense. Uh, was... You. All you did was make a check. Is there a mouse around? Nice. You want to look around? I think we're it. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're in a, a graveyard. There's going to be some type of smaller creature. Is this thing like charging like to pounce us or is it? Oh, yeah, it, it's, it's going to hit one of you bigger than shit here in just a second. <laughs> I, I don't know. I casually stand behind a tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> Odds it are even Daphne. Oh, Lord. It leaps over the tombstone. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, that is an 18 <laughs> plus 6. Oh. 24. And it whoosh, rakes who, across. Who, who does it bat? Daphne or me? Did it like Even as Daphne. Oh, okay. You know what? Just to be a dick, I'm going to use Murder Hobo Ink Dice. Nice. Wah, wah. Uh, seven damage is your bosom is raked across. Aww, Camille, nice Camille, you're up. <laughs> I need to do the blood there. I was about to say, you got the blood, just go. 
<laughs> Camille, you're up. You have seen uh, Daphne get slashed. Uh, Not Guns N' Roses slashed. <laughs> so I take my staff and I tap on the ground and I go, Here, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> Why does nobody want to kill this fucking cougar? That's what I want. Because it's okay. a natural creature. It's doing its there thing. There you go. That yeah, works. I didn't say I wouldn't kill nice. it. <laughs> uh, is that the only thing you're going to do? Distract? Uh, yes, I will distract it right now. Let's see if it is laser focused or not. <laughs> a one. It is successfully distracted. Top of the order. Uh, that is Zadar. Okay. Uh, uh, this thing's already slashed your associate, uh, and it does not look like it's going to be one of those nice kitties. Right, right. Well, do we have so, anything that we could throw, like a rattle it could chase after? <laughs> <laughs> she really does not want to harm the kitty. Folks, it's going to be a TPK tonight. <laughs> uh, Zadar will um, um, make a, a scimitar attack sure. uh, on the cat. And then, um, yeah. And since it's engaged, uh, I think the sneak attack bonus applies. So, I think. Is that true, Frank? Uh, yes, it is successfully distracted by Camille. Got it. All right. Uh, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Actions. All right. Uh, I assume that blood is edible. Scimitar. Uh, 16 to hit, and I'm yep. engaging a uh, green flame blade, so it's going to take an extra D8 damage. So let's see. For the main damage, it's going to take 7, and for the other D8, uh, that would be 5, and then sneak attack. Uh, sneak attack is an additional 8. Okay, 21. Uh, Daphne, you are up. I'm attacking the cat. Folks at home, don't attack black cats. They are nice creatures. Mm -hmm. But if it's a black fucking panther. Panther, yeah. <laughs> the 19, I don't think yep. it's going to hit for the 19 hits. Yep. 12 is all you need to hit this thing. Okay. I don't want to hurt the creature trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What you rolled? Seven damage. Got it. Uh, I can hear your your healing dice go bloop 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 bloop. It's because I like think I left my dice in the car. That's okay. But I have it on D and Beyond. It is going after Zadar. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, that is a 14 plus 6, dirty 20. Oh, that hits. Uh, as a reaction, can I dodge? <laughs> yeah, after I hit you. <laughs> uh, 4 and 6 is 10 damage as you get raked across the chest. Camille, your two associates have each been attacked by this creature. What do you want to do? Same thing I did before. <laughs> <laughs> Try and distract it. What do Good I call. I'm going to need to put a bell at the end of your staff. <laughs> uh, 18. It has tasted bloodlust. It is not distracted. Uh, back to the top of the order, Zadar. Okay. Uh, attack again. Uh, Simitar. The catnip all over Camille. <laughs> nice. Exactly. <laughs> uh, 16 to hit uh, engaging flame blade again so that is uh, 8 for the initial and then the flame damage is uh, wah, wah, 1 1 point of fire damage Camille you're or I'm sorry Daphne you are up alright Oh, 24, 7 doesn't hit. And 8 damage. Flash in the cat. Uh, this time it will go after 2. It's going to go after Camille. 
Oh, you got its attention now. <laughs> Uh, only a six plus six. I'm assuming a 12 does not get you with mage armor on. Nope. Swing and a miss, but you've got its attention. What do you want to do? I will try to hit it with my quarterstaff. Uh, 17. Hits. And... Four. And say, I'm really sorry. You're very pretty. <laughs> it is going to use its cat like reflexes to uh, sprint away. I will give everybody an attack of opportunity if you want one. Okay. Uh, with that, I will fire my hand crossbow at the kitty. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is not going to hit. Ten. Daphne or Camille, attack of opportunity or let it run? It's running. I'll let it go. So I'm going to attack it with my hand axe? I can throw it? Sure, throw your hand axe. Off and into the distance. Nat 20? Off in the distance Ooh, in nice. the night. She nat 20 did? Oh. Damage, damage modifier. Damage. Sorry, you said damage, damage. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Camille? What? Are you going to let it run, or...? I'm letting it run. Okay, fair enough. Uh, arrows <laughs> are going from the wall, uh, falling far short uh, of its intended victim, the Black Panther leaps past several headstones and goes into a small ravine near the copse of trees, disappearing. Everybody, perception check. Eight. Not shit. Yeah. Uh, 27. Zadar will hear it. Daphne? Sorry. Someone asked me that. I was like, not this. He's playing. Nice. Perception what? check? Of course it's perception. I should have all of these rolled out for the night and just written on a piece of paper. 21. Uh, you and Zadar here scraping. Like something being dragged? Like something coming out of the ground. A quick look around and you spot crawling hands <laughs> in the graveyard. They are uh, moving at a very slow pace, but are very determined to head towards you guys. Or is it the hand only? It's just the hands. It's just a crawling hand. <laughs> okay. How many? Uh, a lot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stick around or return to home base? Uh, well, I think we should probably try to stop them. But it's a lot. <laughs> I don't, how many is a lot? Probably about 30. Set it on fire. Let's find some gasoline. Sure. Go to the petrol yeah, station. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, we're here at the Flying J. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should have kept that bourbon. Yeah, we should. Yeah. We should have bought the bottle. Damn it. Um, it's up to you guys. Well, because I mean, they're probably going to end up getting into the town if we don't. <laughs> Not if the portcullis and the gate is closed. <laughs> oh, that's true. Because we're heroes, so. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, Daphne, it's up to you. I think if she could tell those people with the arrows, be like, hey, there's like a mob of zombies coming. You may want to light them up. And they keep running. <laughs> Can we... Running to the gate or <laughs> yeah, chase I think, Black Panther? I oh. think we're heading to the gate. <laughs> uh, foof, foof, foof. Uh, let's see if I hit you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> they're such assholes. Uh, three. You can see Zadar's torch. Five. Yeah, but they're <laughs> shitty shots. And a two. 
No. These are stormtroopers. <laughs> yeah. uh, they cover your escape uh, right. as you head towards the gates, uh, leaving behind a trail of flaming arrows that uh, don't strike any of them, but keep the hands at bay. The door opens a little bit. Everybody give me a dex check to make sure you don't conk yourself on the spike of the portcullis. Ooh, my only good roll tonight, 19. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, Otherwise, no. Daphne gets more blood on her boobs. Is it R? Oh no. Yeah, the row grows at 12. <laughs> Money, not natural. Zadar takes five damage and gets himself another scrape across the neck. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> you guys manage to roll underneath the portcullis and get in behind the gates. Uh, you are safely within the walls of the city. We had you covered. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, guys. <laughs> You could be heroes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll break into song though, because that's a copyright violation. Yeah, uh, you copyright. are back into the city. You are at the gate. Where and uh, you know what? I'll give you an, another hour of passage for that one. Seven o'clock hour is gone. The orbs are starting to come into alignment, and you can just start to see uh, some white planets moving towards them so the celestial event is well underway wow you guys are currently here where would you like to go well, i suppose um, we can just keep moving around <laughs> counterclockwise uh counterclockwise so heading towards like, four yeah four? okay uh, 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 district four uh, as you start to meander through the area, uh, everybody perception check. 18. Oh. Six. 11. I roll amazing perception and now I roll an 11. Well, fortunately, Camille can hear it. Uh, growling, howling, moaning, and door slamming shut are all coming around this area that is normally used as a uh, plaza for small Sounds festivals. like the bordello. Okay, guys, I hear all Kidding. this stuff. Doors, howls, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. The flickering light of the torch, your second yeah. torch of the night, uh, you notice a blood trail. It wasn't me. I guess we have to find out. I guess we better follow it. Yeah. It goes about 12 feet towards the middle of the plaza. Mm -hmm. Abruptly ends. I look up. Now all three of <laughs> yeah, you Yeah, we look up. <laughs> here. Uh, well, the moons are coming into alignment, as are the two celestial bodies that are going to form eyeballs on the moons. Um uh, <laughs> But there's nothing above you dripping blood, and more howls and growls are heard just in a small alleyway. Mm. <laughs> well, Should we go check this I out, Scoop? Guess we're supposed to, since yeah. we're heroes and all. You don't have to. You, you, you can go to a different spot. Uh, as you approach the alley, you notice the blood trail starts mm -hmm. up again but goes into a circle and everybody is confused, but you don't think you're alone anymore. We've never been alone. You're always <laughs> be together. So you'll be exactly. alone. You're the Kirk bones. We and Spock. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. <laughs> You just get laid far less than Kirk does. <laughs> so, uh, strange noises, uh, dissipating blood trail, circles, howling, moaning. Something what do you want to do? Is happening. Can I cast light? Sure. You can illuminate this bitch you all over the place. You had light? <laughs> well, yeah, we haven't needed it till now. <laughs> You're the only one that can't see Zadar. Yeah, exactly. Ugh. Boom! You set forth the Viet Cong flashbang, and suddenly the entire plaza is lit up 
Everybody roll a d12. Ugh, four. Eight. Well. Daphne, furtive movement over in an alley. Looks like a short person running. <laughs> Come here, is that you? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Is she is she doing the squad uh, hand signals? <laughs> oh, okay, so we look in the direction that Daphne called out. So you and Camille only see a shadow move around the corner. Oh, jeez. Okay. Who wants um, to delve into the alley first? Um. Well. I would normally say the people with the dark vision, but <laughs> but since Camille cast light, what did you cast light on? I'm assuming her quarter staff. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So on the person running. <laughs> <laughs> that can right. happen. Yeah. That can happen. That that is a, that is an first, awesome so. idea. That is a very awesome idea. So usually you put it right on the bridge of their nose so they're blind. Blind. Yeah. And I will make them blind fighters and beat your ass. But anyway, <laughs> uh, it is on the edge of your staff. Who's running in first? Bud Abbott or Lou Costello? Uh, I can go. Uh, Abbott! Yeah, so <laughs> uh, Camille, you find the subject up against a gate in the alleyway. They cannot escape. As the person turns, a wand is in their hand. And as they turn to look at you, you recognize I knew oh, it. son of a bitch. Skippy yeah. Lee. <laughs> I knew it was going to be him. Hey, Skip guys. How's Skippy, it going? what did you do this time? The fog is about up to his chest as well as Camille's chest. I, 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 I'm just playing with my new wand. Give me that fucking wand right now. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. No robbery. This is mine. I won this fair and square. How you won it. it. I won in a card game. With who? You got, wait, you got witnesses? I do. You know what? I do have witnesses. I do have witnesses. Let's go over to Toots Pub. Fine. First, yes. we need to find out, did you kill somebody? Why is all that blood here? Do I need to take it, you off to jail? This is really cool. Okay, do you want to see something cool? Oh, Lord. Is this a Dan Aykroyd? Want to see something really scary? <laughs> Turns to Zadar and goes, blood! And Splatters uh, him with blood. Oh, you little! <laughs> this is so cool. This does everything. Watch, bark like a dog, woof, 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 woof. Uh, and you hear howling off at thirty feet. At least you have prestidigitation. That is that's cool. what this wand is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a. That's what it is. A wand of prestidigitation. Wow. Oh, that is. Uh, I'm like, that is cool, but. I clean myself off. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, hang on. No, stop. Whoa. Stop. And he, he cleans you off, Zidar. Oh, well, that was nice of him. This well, thing is awesome. Okay. That is awesome. Well, why don't we But go... this thing won't unlock anything. Unlock, unlock, unlock. They don't do that. Friend in Elven, friend in Dwarf. It doesn't unlock anything. Nope. Okay. What so use is it? <laughs> let's take him to over to the pub and figure this out. Yeah. Can you break this gate open or you want to take a long way? Uh, hmm. Well, uh, is there a lock on the gate? Yeah, can he just undo it? Scott, I, I do not just randomly break into things. Oh, but let me give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> he pops the lock like an expert. Uh, and he goes, follow me. Path, path, and the fog just continually moves out of his way. He goes, you know what? I had an Uncle Moses once. Uh -huh. <laughs> Something similar to this. Nice. Uh, he leads you across the plaza, in through the alleys. Everybody perception check? Um, sure. Oh. Uh, 15. Uh, 25. 15. All three of you notice somebody's vandalizing the buildings in this area. Like currently, or <laughs> no? It's, oh, okay. uh, it's old. I blame Skippy Lee. You asked uh, What did you do? Hortense is a witch. 
The Adventurers Guild are in league with the devil. <laughs> Voters, shut up. That one looks a little bit older. Yeah, that's a little older. And, uh, it's just like, all right, Skippy, put that one to good use. Why don't you clean that up? Presto, changeo, cleano. What? Everything is erased. Wow, Skippy, you did your good deed for today, man. Get the cookie. What? And he readjusts your hat. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. That is cool. Uh, he says, "Are we? Are we still going here?" Yeah, yeah, we're still going. So we're cutting through to to Toots. Yep, you guys get to Toots. Door is locked. Oh shoot! Okay. Well, it was just unlocked a few minutes ago. Someone's inside. Now let's not see if we hear anybody on the inside. Uh, a slit in the door opens up and you see a pair of eyes. What? Toots, what's the deal? <laughs> oh, you guys want more to drink? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, you hear the locks move. Uh, door opens. A lot of patrons are still in there, still okay. drinking. I, okay. had, I had to secure it. We had a small problem. Oh, what you... It wasn't this small problem, was it? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. No, he, uh, he's actually not been a problem ever since he won that stupid wand. Uh, yeah, who'd he win it off of? Uh, the problem that has been thrown out. Uh-oh. Was it a, was it a, a mage that got thrown out? Or? Uh, standard bar ruffian. Oh, okay. Well, that means he probably lifted it off of somebody. I don't know, but uh, Skippy had the hot hand with the cards tonight. Skippy points out, I told you so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, looks like you're on the up and up, up tonight, Skippy. <laughs> uh, I'm not always a thief. <laughs> but when I am, I steal better stuff than this. Except for that gemstone. Yeah, that sucked. <laughs> that was a bird. You know, But, you know, I did steal the hot air balloon. So, that was something. So, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I get to keep the wand, right? Yeah, we'll let you keep it. Cool. So, um, so okay. tell us about this this problem, Toots. Tell us, tell us what happened. After Skippy got the wand from he, uh, he became belligerent, and I had to throw him out. Mm. Did he it, accuse it, him of cheating and shit like that? Yeah, but we were all watching. Mm, okay. What's his name? I didn't catch his name. He's about six foot five. Can't miss him. He's huge. Got anything written on his knuckles? He does not. <laughs> Live, die. <laughs> Toby. <laughs> nice. Um, well, I, I guess, that's guess, it. guess we should be on the lookout for this guy. So. But, I mean, oh. At least he'll be easy to see. Zadar, yeah. dex check. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, check. Yeah. 22. Uh, as you start to step, you feel a slight tug and hold your action. Okay. Looking down, you see your bootstraps have been God tied together. damn it. <laughs> Skippy Lee gives a gut laugh. Uh, he goes, this thing does Ugh. everything. Refill, refill, no, refill. It doesn't. No, it doesn't do it'll make everything. it cold, though. Make your air, air, air cold. So there you oh, go. That's... Try that. Yeah, yeah. we got to take this wand away from him. <laughs> oh, I, I cast Prestidigitation and untie my, shoe, my bootlaces. <laughs> Uh, he says, oh, a game of Oh, chance. we're going to play the abracadabra hocus pocus thing? <laughs> uh, you guys going to stick around or are you going to go yeah, outside? Yeah, we'll go outside. Good. Uh, you're well past the 8 o'clock hour now uh, since you guys took the long way around. The fog is really uh, thick. Uh, more howls from wolves outside the... Uh, uh, walls is it wolves heard. plural uh, or wolf 
it's wolves plural mm. now uh you guys are of course Ooh, let's do a stamp you guys are at toots where do you want to go now um huh uh i there's no more signs of blood or anything like that the blood trail that we saw was definitely sk skippy right as far as we know yeah. yeah as far as you know but it was in the same vicinity and he was fucking around with the wand pretty hard okay so what uh, are we doing with Skippy? He's inside gambling. Okay. So those are the places where we've been that you're working on? Yep. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Camille, where do you want to go? Um, you guys are currently here. So we go into five? Uh... I mean, we haven't checked out five, so we yeah. can check out District Five. That works. Cool. Uh, you head down towards the docks. The fog is unbelievable here. It is right here on Camille's eyeballs. I mean, that shit is thick, mm -hmm. uh, and it is just continually rolling in. Uh, you I, I take a, I take a play out of Skippy's book and it's just like path, path, path. You know, if we had a stroke play, it'd be real intense. Like it would be. Girl. I could do that. <laughs> I think I cast light on my staff again and just twirl it. <laughs> yeah, and we press the digitation and change the color and make it pulse. <laughs> yeah. Good. Uh, I'm doing like a dance. I just think of like thriller for some reason. That's <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> uh, there is nobody out in District Five. <laughs> yeah, it. Uh, you can barely make out a few ships that are in port. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, a breeze, a cold breeze, uh, and you can hear, of course, the waves smashing up against the ship as uh, the moon phases are wreaking havoc with it. Uh, the eyeballs are set. The other planets are moving forward. So you're going to have googly eyes. Googly here. eyes. There we go. Uh, you have to keep an eye on Camille because you are in the lowlands mm -hmm. and she is going to disappear as wisps of vapor go up and over her head. Oh. Uh, flag, like flag. What? You know, like when they have those... Yeah, like a little bike flag. What? Yeah, that's the bike or like the shopping cart that have it. So it's sure, like yeah. Or, or like you're guiding a tour or whatever at well, one of the theme parks. Well, she can parks. lift her staff and <laughs> yeah. guide you as a theme park. Or, yeah. But I won't be able to see where I'm going, really, because dark vision doesn't allow you to see in fog, right? Mm. Nor uh, does it allow you to see when you have light above your head. Right. No. So, no. Uh, <laughs> you also uh, notice that the lighthouse... Has stopped working. Oh well, fuck. That's what it is. We need the lighthouse to work to keep the fog away. Mystery solved. It's the mist. Damn it. You guys are Adrian Barbo. <laughs> you guys. That's you guys fog. Are... The fog. Oh, the, fog. the fog. Sorry. <laughs> you guys the are the fog. You, you guys are all familiar, relatively, with the uh, dock area. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go to the lighthouse. You can go to the docks where the ships are at. You can go so over to the lighthouse and make the lighthouse work again. Yeah, we should. Sure. Mm -hmm. Want to go to the lighthouse? Mm -hmm. uh, you guys move your way through. Uh, it's it, you're barely able to see through all the heavy fog, uh, but you finally make it there. Uh, the door is locked. Okay. So, um, is there a, is there a, key the is there a keeper? You thought there was. Okay. So I take no, my well, staff and I rap a tap tap on the door and say hello. And Daphne, you're checking underneath the doormat for a key? Yeah. Or like a rock or something. You know what people do. <laughs> Looking for a hide a key. Fake plastic rock, sure. Yeah. Yeah, that exactly. Fake rat skull, that's what <laughs> it is. It's uh, under the garden gnome. <laughs> uh, Zidar, what are you looking for? Uh, I, I'm listening to see the. Uh, to hear, <laughs> listen for anybody stirring in the lighthouse. 
Very good. At that moment in time, Camille starts rapping on the door, making you partially deaf. Uh, you put a hand over your ear, give her a angry glance, uh, and then wait. Uh, okay. There is no answer from within. Okay. Yeah. We should check this out anyway. So pull the magic key. Look, uh, I look for the lock and then sure uh these folks for those of you unaware they were given the key to the city which happens to be a magic key that opens all locks and doors within <laughs> the city walls uh the lock clicks and the door swings in uh revealing a small but quaint little chamber probably used by the lighthouse keeper as his personal res residence uh a quick glance around with the beam of light from the orb that Camille has cast on her uh, quarterstaff, you see nobody inside. So how is this lighthouse powered? Is it by coal or gas? Mm. Arcane? <laughs> there is a door to a back room if you'd like to go check it out. I guess we sure. should. The store is unlocked. Uh, you open it up, and it is a spiral staircase uh, going up, 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 and away. Uh, in between the spiral is a rather heavy duty, almost hemp like hose. A hose? Mm -hmm. I would have expected it to be like, you know, like a camshaft or something like that to turn it. Um, I guess okay. We go up. Yeah, That's we'll go and check it out. <laughs> Who's going up first? If only I'd had coffee. <laughs> I guess I will. Daphne goes up first. Who's second? Um, Zadar. I can make this a little easier, guys. So I summon Omen, which you love for me to do, Frank. So my faithful Tressum sidekick. Uh, we'll fly ahead. It does have night vision. It can also see invisibility. Sure. sure. Going up. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, up, up, and away. Your chain lean omen. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets to the top, and it appears as though the fuse, for lack of a better term, uh, has been extinguished. It's rather drafty up in the top of the lighthouse, and everybody roll initiative. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> Nat 20, bitches. No. 20, not what? natural. Yeah, I rolled a two, so a total of six. <laughs> Daphne? 18. Nicely done. Uh, three shadows rise from the base and latch onto each one of you. Courtesy of Camille's staff until she drops it, uh, they will not be doing well against the bright light. Uh, I am first. I will attack all three of you because I'm an asshole. Uh, but <laughs> it's one at a time. So, Camille. Whoo, 15 plus 4 is 19. Yes? 19? Yep. Uh, probably. Zadar, no shit. Not 20. <laughs> Son of a... Son of a and Daphne, uh, that's a fifteen plus four nineteen. Yeah. Uh, okay, so first your damage. You're using the murder hobo ink dice. Damn. Oh no joy in Mud Mudville. Eight hit points of damage. To whom? Each one of you. Oh, okay. Uh, then each one of you go ahead and roll a d4 for me, please. Oh, Lord. Great. Googly moogly. All right. Two. Two. Three. Daphne, Camille, you lose two strength points. Zadar, you lose three. <laughs> Higher is not good, <laughs> obviously. I, I, I already warned you of that. Uh, it is now your turn. The shadows have absorbed your strength. Oh, I'm just like, oh. So what are these things? Shadows. Okay. 
Because shadows and Halloween go together. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Are you singing Peter Frampton? <laughs> just making up my own songs. Baby, I love the like shadows formed before my eyes. I just said shadows <laughs> in the night, looking for some fright. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, what even works against shadows? Other than light. light. <laughs> I have that. Lots of it. Uh, oh. Is there a mirror up here? I only have dark. At the top, but you oh, are third good. in line. Uh, okay. Uh, how close am I to the top? To the to the wick? You're number two, dude. Okay. <laughs> uh, Omen's right there. Uh, it's Daphne, Zadar, Camille. Camille has the dirty 20. And Daphne has the 18. Can I cast a spell through through Omen? I know if it has flyby, I can. But if he is your true familiar, I believe you can. Yeah, what he's, is... he's my true familiar. So yeah, you'll be able to cast a spell. Okay. Oh, what are you going to do, Camille? Does shocking grasp work? Give it a shot. Uh... By all means, cast a spell. Oh, great. Oh, really? They're not going to work? Eight. Uh, it does not hit. Daphne, you're up next. Shield of faith on us? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. D12, if that's what you're doing. I'm not familiar with shield of faith. Faith Is that an area of effect, or is that one yeah. target, or whoever you choose? Ten. Four. Shield of faith activates successfully. Okay, and then, yeah, so it's 60 feet and then everyone gets plus two to your ac okay that works uh zadar you're up uh mm, connected to omen uh omen's gonna fly to the wick and cast press the digitation to try to spark the wick how much can he move uh the tressum can move pretty Fast. Strength wise. Uh, oh, strength wise? Mm -hmm. Let me look that up real quick. Uh, Tressum, strength. Uh, his uh, strength is uh, three? <laughs> strength check for Omen, because he's got to open up the windows oh, where the wick is protected. Okay. Oh, Lord. All right. Hell, that's what? Minus five? Yeah. Uh, la, la. So how, how do I calculate that? Uh, you roll and then you subtract five. <laughs> okay. All right. No, 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 no. No, I am specifically what I had to roll. So it's a D20 and then subtract five. So mm -hmm. I rolled an 18, subtract five, 13. Uh, he's got it open, but it took him a while. So he'll have to pre press to digitate it next round. Okay. Uh, new round, boys and girls. I was wondering where you were going with that. <laughs> yeah, he's got to open that thing first. Gotcha. On Camille. Ooh, five. <laughs> Next uh, time he's a flying monkey. <laughs> on Zadar. Uh, 11 plus four is only 15. 15 misses. Daphne. Ooh, six plus four is ten. Uh, this round they all missed. Dirty 20. Camille, you're up. So our, we haven't moved any. You're stuck on the stairs. stairs. Um. Ray of Frost. Sure. All right. Uh, 14. Very good. That will hit. However, you need to d12 against me. Oh, God damn it. One. Wah, wah, eight. Odd even. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, uh, Camille, roll your damage. Uh, what do you want me to Who's roll? Who's doing it? Whatever the ray of frost is. Oh. D8. Mm, yeah. She, she hit the uh, shadows. Which then hits me. Six. Uh, six damage times three is 18. Camille sends out her ray of frost, but because of the lunar activity, <sighs> the entire center of the lighthouse is a big popsicle, uh, and all three shadows are caught in it. Uh, well, that's something, at least. Including the oil tube <laughs> going up. Uh, uh, oh, so yeah, good climbing luck up the stairs it. will now require a dexterity check from all three of you because everything but you three is covered in ice. Oh, gosh. You want to go up? Do you want to go back down? Oh, I say we go up. Yeah. One vote up. Uh. We'll go up. Oh. All three vote up. Uh, everybody give me a dex check. 18. Uh, not too bad. 16. Yeah. What was yours, Daphne? Seven. Good news. <laughs> Daphne slips and since she's at the top, Zadar, Camille, make another check or get knocked down the stairs with Daphne. 19. All right. Oh, lordy. Twelve. <laughs> uh, Zanar, that's good enough. Uh, okay. Camille, Camille, you jump up with your feet on the rail as Daphne goes whizzing <laughs> down. Daphne, five hit points of damage uh, as you <laughs> down the curly cue of death. Uh, Zanar, Camille, you may continue up your slow progress up Mount Everest where... Uh, your omen, your familiar omen, is having great difficulty getting the oil lit because the top of the wick is, is frozen, covered in ice. And just like, well, thanks, buddy. Just stand by. <laughs> Daphne, reroll your dex check to try and climb back up with your friends. <laughs> you okay, oh, Daphne? On the ground, so it can't get worse, right? That's true. 16? Uh, you slowly using my tail <laughs> wrapping around the that's right really? using your horns to <laughs> notch yourself you climb to the top uh, where Camille and Zadar are looking at their frozen popsicle problem so now a cantrip can I just stop that or is it there or is it's there for how long Mm, the phases of the moon are awesome. questionable tonight. Uh, but from here, you get a fantastic view, and it appears as though cat eyes are in the sky because the darkened moons that are eclipsed have two planetary bodies moving in front of them. So now it looks like cat eyes up nice. in the sky. <laughs> I go to hold Camille. It's in our hand, and I'm like, shh. It's so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, it's so beautiful. <laughs> See, Mrs. Poole. <laughs> this is gorgeous. <laughs> so I have my, uh, my staff is still lit up, so I put it in front of the mirror to make the light brighter. Oh, yes, it's bright, okay. and everybody in the room is now, uh, partially blinded yeah <laughs> okay so that's fine but how are we gonna like um thaw everything out well i'm asking my partners here well you have we also noticed that one of the windows to the outside is rattling it must have come loose ergo a uh, big wind has come in and blown out hmm. the wick okay uh is it is it like unlatched and it's loose and the okay um yeah we'll we'll, we'll try to to latch it and uh, tell camille just uh cast light on the mirror <laughs> yes i continue to do that okay oh boy what 
Wow. Everybody is blind. Everybody is disadvantaged. Nice. Everybody's frozen. You guys. We're at disadvantage. Well, yeah, I understand that, but isn't everybody else, like, the shadows are frozen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're they're dead. Oh, okay. We they're destroyed. Okay. okay. Yeah, you did 18 hit points. They had well, six that would have been nice each. to know. <laughs> you didn't ask. <laughs> really? Yeah, really? Okay. That's how we're going to play this. <laughs> we always play it. That's right. So, you guys are at the top. You are all mostly blind. Uh, uh, Zadar, Camille, Daphne, everybody D20 straight up to see if you can find the loose window. Now that Zadar has told Camille to blind yeah, everybody. That was, a, that, that was uh, a lack of judgment on well, my part. Uh, that is 17. 17 is the high one. You kind of recall where the window was before you went totally blind. Uh, and you reach out and you fumble with the latch. Securing it, the whistle is gone. Uh, and now you may probably, hopefully, light the wick and not each other, if you want. Um, yeah. Uh, did the, the ice dissipate off the wick? You don't know. You can't see. Oh. Well, how about I back away from the thingy? The mirror? And just hold it up so that there's light in the room. That'll work a little bit better. Uh, it'll take you guys a minute or two to go ahead and reacclimate to your situation. Uh, as you do, uh, Omen can still see mostly fine. Mm -hmm. uh, which is how you figured out how to shut the window. Uh, as your eyes get better acclimated to it, uh, you notice you have a great view of a very dark city out here. Wow. Uh, the ice is indeed starting to melt. Okay. All right. Uh, is Does it look like the wick has thawed and dried? or <laughs> Probably. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Omen will cast Prestidigitation on the, on the wick to, to spark it. <laughs> okay. uh, give me a performance check. All righty. Uh, 24. Uh, yes, the light, uh, the illumination is successful. And the wick again starts to burn oil. Apparently, the wicker thing uh, is some kind of hose that allows oil to be pumped up from uh, whatever Exxon has not yet found here in Cacophony. <laughs> right. So, does it turn though? Yes, it starts to turn. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's get on Magic. the back. Ah, very good. We get on the back side of it to try to avoid yeah. the light. <laughs> so you guys are running around as yes. it's true. Very nice. As you do so, it's just like being up at the top of any high building. You're getting a rather nice thing. However, uh, everybody roll dexterity. Let's see if you trip. Okay. You guys are clods. I have to make sure that... We are. <laughs> 20, not natural. There's an 8. What's your roll, Daph? 19. Uh, Camille's the only one that trips. Uh, the rest of you circle around. Uh, it appears as though everything is lit. Everything appears to be functioning correctly. Uh, are you guys ready to go down the stairs? Yes. Everybody, dexterity check at advantage. It's just wet. It's not icy. 13. 21. 21. <laughs> all three of you managed to make it all the way back down. Uh, the fog is still intense as you walk outside, uh, but you can only hear strange noises coming from a variety of locations, none of which you can pinpoint. Hmm. So do so, you still need to worry about there not being a light keeper? Seems automated. All right. Hmm. Okay. He might be at a bar. Yeah, he might be at Toots. No. Uh, you're very close to the grindstone if you want to go check. Uh, sure, we'll we'll go bar hopping tonight. 
guys have been bar hopping all friggin' night. Seems like a good idea <laughs> for a night like this. So Grindstone is uh, in in that that uh, dockside pub and whatever. Yeah, yeah. With the questionable food. <laughs> uh, you guys have always gotten along well with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you go in and... Uh, well, that's how Mortimer the... described it, was questionable food. Correct. Mortimer, in his uh, book on cacophony, was not very grateful to them. Uh, as you go inside, uh, the door is not locked, and you guys are able to enter... This bar is packed with sailors who are very sullen and quiet at oh. this time. It seems to be a very subdued group, if you will. Uh, you notice your regular cohorts are there. Uh, Rye, the waitress, Wonder Bread, the bartender, and Loaf, <laughs> the owner, uh, all greet you warmly as you arrive. Uh, they ask what they can get you and point out one table is available. Um, sure. You want to grab a table? Hey, yeah, I mean, we've, we've been at this all night. We might as well grab something to eat. That's true. Nice. And it's about to get shit out there, so. <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Oh, man. That's, that's funny, Daphne. <laughs> Well, not on the couch behind <laughs> yeah. me, I guess. So that's the important yeah. thing. Uh, 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 yeah, we'll we'll order food. Uh, what what are they named for? They're fish and chips, right? Or mm -hmm. Daphne, I think that's the seduction mm -hmm. technique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, who? Hannah? Uh, yeah. Yes. She literally walks out, and I'm like, I "Thought you're watching Netflix." <laughs> Hurry your game up, baby. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we still got this. a little ways to go. <laughs> That's right. This needs assistance. Uh, so you order your fish mm -hmm. and chips. Uh, everybody pickles, roll a d12. Please. Fried pickles. Yes. You nice. <laughs> so what are we rolling? Constitution <laughs> checks? D12. Oh. Uh, D12. Eight. Hmm. What's your roll? Two. Two. Dos. Uh, eight and six. Uh, you hear sailors talking, telling a story. Is it is it some old like one-eyed sailor guy with like <laughs> a peg legs? <laughs> It was a leg, night like this. this. <laughs> got an anchor on this arm, and his forearms are unusually, uh, unusually... Uh, large. And he's got a corn cob pipe sticking out. <laughs> oh. He's telling a story. Would you like to listen? Yes, in? of course. He is giving a recitation on a historical basis of cacophony. He's talking about the time when the raiders. Uh, were active in this region the football team? and captain yes the las vegas raiders were very active here uh this is where they got covid originally <laughs> uh he is telling the story of how captain goldie chased off uh minotaur raiders oh oh okay wow that goes way back because we met captain goldie you didn't meet Captain Goldie. No, she was you just Goldie. Goldie. Yeah. That's right. She was, she was a, uh, uh, like juvenile, right? At that time that we met her? She was a teen. A teen. Uh, he, uh, his tale includes the fact that the Minotaurs came in on a very heavy-duty warship called the Bovum, and uh, Captain Goldie was able to capture the Minotaur captain and subsequently hang the raider from the yard arm of his ship, the Canard. Oh. Wow. The remaining Minotaurs did manage to escape on their ship and vowed revenge. Hmm. And then, of course, he winds up with a, they always said it would be a night like tonight. 
and they would attack this city again. <laughs> the sailors are like, you are so full of shit, old man. <laughs> he blinks once, pops his wooden eye out, licks it, and pops it back in. <laughs> a wooden eye. <laughs> There's got to be a fried pickle eye, but... You know. uh, uh, <laughs> um, so why are the other Sith sullen? Uh, it's a scary night. It's a scary night. Okay. Uh, you, you got the double eclipse. They can't go Every- out whoring. Everybody's on lockdown. Sailors are superstitious anyway, so yeah. Okay. Uh, now everybody make a constitution check, see how you like the food. Very oh, superstitious. Are, are we rolling 12 constitution checks, right? Constitution okay. checks. Uh, Wait, oh, that's... Wait, uh, D12 for it? Nope, D20. Plus con. <laughs> No damage, just how your taste buds like oh, it. A wonderful nat one. <laughs> oh, oh pickles, she really doesn't old. like it. <laughs> old pickles, old brine. Uh, fifteen. Camille, I got a twenty. Nice, uh, Daphne. The other two didn't have the fried pickles, so you can surmise that. Uh, yeah, because that shit's nasty. It was tainted. Love. Uh, <laughs> like really <laughs> chewing pickles, like you're chewing on rubber. You're just like. Apparently, these were worse than chewing on rubbers. <laughs> They're Skippy's coins. <laughs> That's right. Oh, nice. Uh, you, uh, you harf <laughs> all <laughs> over the table, uh, causing <laughs> rye and Wonder Bread a great amount of distress. The sailors uh, don't seem to be uh, overly plussed uh, yeah. at your rank pickles smell. Uh, I'm just like, I got this, guys. And press the digitated. <laughs> you mean the spell? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, crap. D12. <laughs> he was waiting for me to do that. Yes, I was. Oh, man. Okay. And I am actually going to roll a D12. Uh, two. Eleven. Uh, you do not press to digitate the vomit. You increase it exponentially. <laughs> and that causes... Oh, Four sailors to begin to harf themselves. <laughs> Why and Wonder Bread order you three out right now? Sorry. Uh, as Sorry. additional sailors getting the wafting odor of pickle vomit begin to <laughs> and turn the color of my shirt. <laughs> you are hurriedly escorted out of. Well, sorry, we're sorry, guys. We're get to help. out. Just it's get the out. night. It's the night. The door yeah. slams behind you. Everybody, perception. Well, then my stomach's empty. I'm real hungry. Twenty. Uh, perception is twelve. What was yours, Daphne? 18. Uh, you must be keen because of your empty stomach. Camille, there is no doubt what you hear. However, the fog is now up to her chin. <laughs> Daphne feels is, better now. <laughs> it is rolling. You always feel better after you harf. The, the fog is really rolling in. Camille, Daphne, are those war drums? <laughs> War drums are coming from the bay. Uh, oh, man. nice. Do we see any lights within the fog from the bay? Only the light above from no. the lighthouse. Okay. As it begins its rotation, you notice the cat eyes are high in the sky. Magic is at its peak. And a vague, shadowy outline can be seen plunging towards the last damaged slip on the dock it appears to be a war vessel and it breaks through the mist right Mm -hmm. in front of you three skeletal minotaurs leap forth captain my captain we are here to rescue you (laughs) everybody roll initiative as but it's in minotaur so it all sounds like (laughs) moo Nat 
I'm not shitting you. Nat 20 again. <laughs> We're rolling initiative. Oh, man. I got five. I got five, uh, too. Uh, 17. That's my third nat 20 tonight. Uh, mm -hmm. The Minotaurs plunge over the side, land on the dock. There are only three of them, and charge forward, screaming something in their guttural language. <laughs> More <Wow>. moo. <laughs> <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> Daisy utters. Hot utters. <laughs> uh, one, two, and three. Uh, I'm going to try and gore you guys tonight. Uh. Camille. Ooh, nat one. Uh, you will have advantage on your first attack on that thing. Oh, 18 plus six for Zadar. You're going to get horny tonight. No, <laughs> not in a good way. Fourth, nat 20. Oh, Daphne. I'm going to oh, die. <laughs> holy shit. You better start quaffing that potion, girl. Yeah. Oh, well, that wasn't good. Uh, three plus four. Seven damage. You two each receive a glancing blow with the horns. It is now your turn. We will each start... take seven damage? Yep. Uh, we will start with Zadar's 17. Mm, all right. Um, I am going to slash with the uh, scimitar sure. at the minotaur. Twelve is your hit roll. All right. Uh, let's see. Yes, each of you has a potion of extra healing. 2d8 plus four if you want to quaff it. Yeah, we have to do that on our turn, right? Uh, 18. Hits. Hit. Okay. And that is nine, uh, followed by the additional fire damage. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Uh, the additional fire damage <laughs> is one fire, but the, the flame I directed towards the, uh, the second Minotaur. There are three. I know. It, 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 I can only move it one at a time. Odd even. Even it goes after Daphne's. How much damage does that get? Uh, that gets... Uh, it's just flame damage, so it's 1d8. Let me roll that again. Uh, that is... Uh, <laughs> big whopping three... <laughs> Fire damage. It does it. Uh, Camille, Daphne, you guys tied with five. You're up. So how far away are they? Uh, yours is at your feet because it can't put two feet together and walk. It slid across the cobblestones. And everybody else? Uh, they're in front of them. So I cast Thunder Wave. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? D12. <laughs> oh, shit. That means we're in the way, too. <laughs> Ten. Six. Uh, Thunder Wave does its job. How much damage? Uh, well, you have to take a constitution saving throw. That's not bad, because Minotaurs, even skeletal ones, have good Cons. Is it con or dex? Uh, it says constitution. Plus two. What do I need? Uh, I have no idea. What's your spell oh. save? Middle of the page somewhere. Uh, no clue. Uh, no, 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 spell save. 14. There you go. Yours. Uh, 14 plus 2, save. Uh, Zadars. 14 no. plus 2, save. No. Denied. 17 plus 2 uh, for Caitlin, save. Oh, uh, so they take, what, half damage? Uh, on a failed save, on a successful save, half as much damage and isn't pushed, so let's see. Yeah, you were never going to push these fat fuckers. Uh, <laughs> so, 4. 
Okay. Uh, danger prone Daphne. Um, I'm going to lay on hands because I need a lot of healing. I will say lay on hands is not a spell. <laughs> so yes, you may take as many hit points as you can give yourself. Top of the order, uh, Camille, your Minotaur is now on its feet and it is quite pissed. Everybody's getting the great axe this time. Camille, two plus six. Jesus Christ. Zadar, 12 plus 6, 18. 18 hits. And uh, Daphne, 9 plus 6, 15. Does not hit. Uh, so only Zadar takes the great axe to the teeth. Oh. Don't worry, it's only 2d12. Not the face. <laughs> a 3 and a 6. 9 plus 4 is 13. <laughs> Uh, and Zadar, it's your turn. I am out for the count. Already? Yep. I didn't <laughs> heal. Dumbass. <laughs> I was uh, going to on my turn. I was gonna. <laughs> uh, Camille and Daphne, you see your associate fall to the ground right below the fog. <laughs> so okay. you two... So I crawl over and stuff a healing potion in his face. Give me a D12. Try <laughs> to find me. <laughs> Four. You find his torso, move your way up and find his mouth. Quaff him the potion. 2D8 plus four. No okay. ones. Uh, Daphne, you're up. I'm going to cash you again. Seven. A spell? You. D12 against me. Let's see how that works. Six. Twelve. Nice. It works as expected. <laughs> uh, the glow of her deity's uh, protection fall over all of you. Uh, Zadar, Camille, you are under the fog. I will attack you at disadvantage. Daphne, I will attack you normally. So, at disadvantage, Camille. A 17 and an 8, does a 14 get you? Negative. Uh, Zadar, uh, 7 and an 8, I'm guessing those both miss. Yes. And a 3 on Daphne, plus six is nine. The Minotaurs suck at battle as their old bones creak. Zadar, uh, sitting upright, you notice you are in a total fog, but hear the casual whisper of Camille say, get your fat ass up and fight. <laughs> nice. this, come on. Uh, at at that, that point, I thank her for the potion. <laughs> And uh, you're like Flash Gordon when they toss the, the metal football. But uh. Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> <laughs> need Daphne or go, Flash, go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I am on the real Zarkov's gonna knock you out though. Yeah, that's right. All right, so I am on my feet, and since it's my turn, whoosh, scimitar. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Uh, 17 to hit. It's Okay. Easy to hit, hard to kill. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, seven slashing damage. The fire damage is going to be... Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, it's going to be eight for one, and I direct the other flame to the, the nearest Minotaur, and that's going to be seven. The other Minotaurs are gone. Oh. Uh, Camille, Daphne, uh, Camille, as you rise up, there is only one Minotaur there. You can hear the clomping of hooves going off in different directions. The other two, after losing sight of you and Zadar, uh, rampaging through the city of Cacophony. 
Awesome. So Daphne and Camille, there is one right in front of you. So the other two, how far away are they? You have no fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, I'm like, fuck him up. <laughs> that was up. Say again, Daphne. So wouldn't I have seen them like leave because I was up? Oh yeah, you saw them leave and then they vanished mm -hmm. into the fog because Camille's staff o light uh, was down below. Kind of like verbal get and it was gone. <laughs> but you still have one in front of you. Well, I guess we better kick his ass. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I will use my quarter staff. Blinded by the light. And yeah. I got 18. That hits. And, uh, <laughs> Ugh, for one. Nice shooting, Tex. Pew, pew. Camille, or uh, Daphne, you are All right. up. Eight doesn't hit, I guess, but 16 hits. 16 does hit, eight does not. And six damage. Divine Smite, I can not only bad. use in lieu of an extra attack, right? I think you get to use Divine Smite in this I can. case. You know what? I'll, I'll let you use it once. So it's like when you hit, you can expend a spell slot, but I didn't know. But you know what? Since you're expending a spell slot, D12. Yeah. Yay! Six? Eight! <laughs> How much damage is that divine smite? Um, two d eight. Go ahead. Eleven damage. Ouch! That's gonna hurt. Uh, it's also gonna hurt your associates, and that's oh. friendly fire. <laughs> Zadar, Camille, take oh. five. Zadar, okay. gonna fall down again. No, no, I'm not down, but I am I am that, that healing potion. I'm worried about Camille. <laughs> Cause I'm like, do I share this or do I <laughs> I think she's probably okay. fine. All right. She hasn't really gotten hit uh, too much, right? Yeah, I don't I don't think she's taking too many hits. Uh sounds like she's coming back. Uh what do you want to do, Zadar? Uh, it's your turn. I am going Oh wait a minute! No, I'm sorry. That was them. It's my that last one hit me for five. Uh, Camille, you have minus five hit points, by the way. <laughs> it was Zadar's fault. <laughs> oh no, wait! It was Daphne's fault because <laughs> she used divine smite and it kind of ricocheted. And since I'm still in cover, I'm gonna use my um, motion uh, movement to kind of sidestep out of the way. D4. Oh. Three. Okay. I know where you're at. Uh, Daphne and Camille, it's your turn. Damn it. Higher is not Are better. <laughs> Just regular attacks. Mm -hmm. Well, crap. I got mm. six. That's a miss. 22 and That's, an extra 20. Ooh, nice. Uh, damage, damage, damage modifier. Or damage modifier, damage, damage modifier. So three damage rolls, two modifiers. That's very confusing. Yeah, it was really confusing. I, uh, three damage rolls and then add two modifiers. Okay. Not even confusing Eight at all. For the one. What was it? Eight? Eight. Double, sorry, three damage. Wait, damage, damage. Damage, damage, damage. Modifier, modifier. Okay, then it's six, seven, oh my god, 18. Total? Uh, 
eight plus 18. So total overall. Yeah. Uh, that skeletal minotaur is not looking good and it is going to target Udo Camille. Jesus Christ. Uh, does a 13 hit you? No. Seven plus six misses. Zadar, can you put this thing out of its misery? I sure am going to try. Um, all right. I'm going to make another scimitar attack, slashing attack. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, 19 to hit. Hits. Uh, seven damage, followed by the. I'm really gonna put the hurt on it. <laughs> um, now, green flame blade is a spell attack, correct? Yeah. yeah. Oh crap. D12. Oh. I knew I was forgetting something. Ten. Oh shit. Eight. <laughs> cool. How much damage are you gonna do? Uh, I. It, it was only two points of fire damage. Cool. Uh, that is not going to be enough to put it down. Uh, Camille, Daphne, take one hit point each. Oh, no. Sorry. What that, does that do? What? Like, I have I am fire immune defense, whatever. It's green flame, though. Yeah, it's magic. It's not fire. Yeah. One hit point, though. Uh, Camille, it's Daphne, one of you kill this thing. It's like alchemist fire. Oh, is basically what it is. Fourteen. Fourteen does hit. Uh, let's try the staff again. <laughs> uh, let's see. No Two. Daphne, you got to kill it. Nineteen's a hit for the one, and you're gonna kill it. Oh, yeah. Easily kill it. Uh, the bones crumble and crackle to the cobblestone underneath the fog. Looking over at the ship, you notice that the bovum is also shattering slowly and sprinkling into the water below. Rising above, you look, and the eyeballs have exited the aura of the moons. No more cat's eyes. Huh? <laughs> no more cat's eyes and magic will return to normal. The My fog God. is still in place uh, and you still have a few hours of guard duty and you do not hear the rampaging minotaurs anymore. Oh, so okay. I'm quaffing a healing potion. <laughs> yes. uh, oh, Thank that's you right. so you much. Still, I owe you still you have one. extra. From yeah. For the minotaur, can I take his horn? Uh, it's dust. It's dust. So is the ship. And it's safe to assume that the other two minotaur are also dust. Now, had you killed all three, the bovum would never return to cacophony. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but it's going to come back in about 60 years. Yeah. <laughs> That's somebody else's problem by then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the rest of the night will pass uneventfully, and as dawn breaks, you can rejoin your associates at the Adventurers Guild to hear the tales of what they encountered. Uh, let's go with final thoughts. David. Uh, we're going to get coffee and croissants since it's daybreak. Yeah, so. thank you. <laughs> uh, it was... J will be open. It this was great. This was a really good uh, spooky season one. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Very good. Daphne? I thought it was the lighthouse. <laughs> I was pretty sure it was the lighthouse. I was like, yeah. Like, well, the the lighthouse did help. So, <laughs> uh, sorry about the bloody boobs. Uh, Camille, final <laughs> See, thoughts. You did do it. <laughs> yep. It was super cute. I liked it. Um, yeah, I wanted to say is the lighthouse like the movie we watched a couple weeks ago? Oh my god, don't watch that movie. That movie sucked <laughs> out. Oh, the Willem Dafoe and yes, Robert Christ Pattinson. Almighty, oh, that thing was horrible. Uh, uh, yeah. I wanted to kill him by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Willem, you can do better than that. No, oh, it was man. super cute. I liked it. Uh, folks, this has been our Halloween edition, even though Halloween is on Saturday. Yes, Carol. 
We're still doing the campaign. And yes, yes I have not added the torture scene for the day. I will do that. Uh, and yes, none of your friends or family are still alive. I am fucking killing them all. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to buy our cool stuff. Uh, it's down there. If you want to shoot the shit with D&D, &D, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us for a one shot, Daphne slash Caitlin is doing one next Saturday. Mm -hmm. uh, hit us up, M Hobo Inc. Uh, Twitter, Gmail, either one. We'll get you on that game. It, it's going to be a different game. So, yeah, I'm going to have to make like a special little border for it. Something with roses and blue and no, headstones. Very and girly. Headstones and beheadings. But uh, yeah, bring your seduction skills for that game. Uh, and of course, Saturday night, or I'm sorry, uh, oddfishgames.com. Don't forget, they are doing a how to RPG with your cat a uh, week from this Sunday. It's free, but you got to sign up. Check Twitter for details. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we hope you have a safe Halloween and we hope to see you on Saturday where the campaign maybe ends. Maybe doesn't end, uh, but they're <laughs> getting close either way. Uh, thanks for joining us. Have a great night, and we will see you later. Everybody wave, and the producer will take us Bye. out.